Hello, I'd like to welcome you to our Enterprise Manager Cloud Control Overview. Today we'll be focusing on the new Diagnostic Snapshot feature, which is one of our middleware diagnostics features. Now to begin with, we'll start on a WebLogic server page and we'll go ahead and actually drill down to the JVM. Now within our JVM, we can see a multitude of different information. First of all, we have a summary, some of the optimization levels, our max, our minimum heat memory. We can see the version and the make of the actual JVM. We have the overall thread state below, and we can see there's a number of locks. In addition, we can see some of the active threads here in our graph. Let's now go ahead and drill down in our performance diagnostics via the link up here, where we can get some more detailed and filtered information. Now here in the performance diagnostics page, we can see the active thread state, CPU utilization, heap utilization, some metrics on the garbage collection as well. And we also have a lot of different filter options. We could filter on the method, the database, the thread, the state. We have the ESID as well in here, even the request name, of course. And below that, we have a bunch of different information. Right now, we're looking at all the different information that's coming from the actual JVM itself. So we have our top requests, our top methods, top SQL, and the top DB weight events as well. So we can see what's going on in the database. We can see that cross-tier correlation in the overall top databases as well as far as how much time the JVM or pool of JVMs are spending in each area. Let's go also take a look at what's going on in the actual threads themselves. We'll go ahead and scroll back up and we'll go ahead and click on the actual threads tab to go ahead and drill into those states. We're now on the threads tab. We can see a time period here that we can go ahead and adjust with this bar, all connected down to the actual metrics beneath. We can see the thread state transition, what's going on in each one of the actual threads. Mousing over, we can go ahead and actually see the state of each one of those. In this case, we can see some network weights. Below that, if we go down, we can see some database weights as well, the time period. Notice that we can access both real-time and historical here. And if we look down, we can see the metric by active state as well. So we can see each one of the threads, how long they've been in each one of the states, kind of the breakdown from that perspective, the methods. Right now, we don't have any actual front end request coming through, but if we did, they basically go ahead and break through. So we just see basically none, kind of a breakdown. We'd also see the top ESIDs as well, which is used to go ahead and track transactions through Fusion Middleware. Now at this point we could go ahead, we could drill down into each of these threads if we wanted to. We could find out a lot more information to them. We could actually do cross here back to the database. But let's say for the sake of this particular demonstration, we want to capture this data, refer to it later. Perhaps it's an emergency situation where we need to go ahead and capture the data because we're going to restart our servers very soon. We want to be able to analyze it later to figure out the root cause. But we can't have it impact our system, which we need to get up immediately. Other possibilities, we want to capture this information, we want to share it with Oracle support. Or maybe we want to share it with our colleagues that are using another enterprise manager. They want to go ahead and import or export that data. So a lot of different mechanisms to do that. In order to go ahead and drill to the next state, we'll go ahead, we'll scroll up, go to side here for a moment, and we can go ahead and actually create a diagnostic snapshot. So clicking on our button will bring us over to the diagnostic snapshot wizard. Within the wizard, we've gone ahead and we've automatically captured a bunch of information. We've captured the name of this automatically, just calls it JBM Diagnostics Collection, gives a date, time stamp, we have a description, and we have the duration which we could go ahead and easily change. For instance, maybe I want to go ahead and I want to change this to just go ahead and represent the last hour, which I'll go ahead and I'll do. Um, in addition, I could go ahead and add additional target data just by simply going ahead and clicking Add here. Now I can add a bunch of different targets if I want to. What I'm going to do in this case is go ahead and filter by Oracle WebLogic Server. And I'll go ahead and I'll also search for a specific name. I'll go ahead, I'll select the one that I want. You can see we have three different choices. And I'll include this in my snapshot. Okay, now that that's been selected, we have both one WebLogic server and we have a JVM now. We're going to capture two different types of diagnostics information. We're going to capture the Oracle Diagnostics Logging and we're going to capture the JVM data that we saw earlier. We capture for the previous hour and both information will be packaged nicely within the snapshot that I can go ahead and refer to, import, export, or I want to go ahead and utilize that. So let's go ahead and actually kick it off by going in and clicking the OK button. 
Okay, we've now gone ahead and we've kicked off the log. We can see it going ahead and actually collecting the information. So it's going ahead and collecting both our ODL information, our Oracle Diagnostics logging, and it's also going ahead and collecting our JVM information. So we'll just wait to go ahead and completes here. Now that it's complete, we can go ahead and close our dialog box, bring us back to our list of diagnostic snapshots that have been taken thus far. Here we have the capability to go ahead and we can import, we can export. So if we go ahead and click on the one that we went ahead and just created most recently, we have the capability at this point to come in and analyze it, which we'll go ahead and do here. Now within the Analyze, we have the capability to look at both the ODL logs, the Oracle Diagnostics logging, as well as the JVM data. All packaged together, once again, it could be imported into an Enterprise Manager. It could be exported as well. And we have the ability to go ahead and look at additional information just by going ahead and clicking on either the more details on the JVM side, which would bring us into the information we looked at earlier. We'd be able to see it as part of the snapshot. But we also can go ahead and jump into our Oracle Diagnostics log. So let's go ahead and click there real quickly to go ahead and finalize our demo. So now we're going into our Oracle Diagnostics logging. Via the log viewer, we can look at all the various information in here. We're able to go ahead and filter it very easily just by going ahead and unchecking unknown, trace, and notification. And we can see both notification logs as well as warning coming from our log files here. We're able to go ahead and search on those to eliminate them. We'll bring them just down to the actual warnings in this case since there's no actual incident or actual errors in here. And we have our time period. With that, I'd like to go ahead and conclude our overview of the Diagnostic Snapshot feature in the new version of Oracle Enterprise Manager, and I'd like to thank you for watching.